This scenario was simulated where a fire alarm system indicated fire in the cargo hold of a PCC vessel, followed by the general alarm on the whole ship. The OOW then immediately contact the crew nearest to the location of the fire via portable VHF to verify and confirm the alarm. Crew, upon confirmation that the fire had broken out in the cargo hold, immediately pressed the manual call point to trigger the fire alarm and reported to the bridge. An initial firefighting was carried out by the means of portable fire extinguisher located nearest to the scene of fire. The officer in the scene of the fire reported to the master that the initial firefighting conducted has failed and it needs for the assistance by the crew. The OOW, upon the instruction of the master, announced in the public address system that fire has broken out at the cargo hold and it needs assistance of the crew to carry out firefighting. All crew must now proceed to their master station and prepare to combat the fire. The firefighting team Supporting team and engine room team, upon completion of mastering, reported to the bridge that all crew are accounted for and are waiting for the master's instruction. The master then gave out the following instructions. The firefighting team shall proceed to the scene of fire to further investigate including the cause of fire and combat the fire. Firefighters must make sure to wear proper fireman's outfit and the oxygen bottle is full at 200 bars. The supporting team to carry out boundary cooling, shut off ventilations, and electrical connections leading to the cargo hold. The medical team to prepare medical equipment and to conduct first aid in case of injury. The engine room team to start emergency fire pump and to prepare fixed firefighting system to be used in case of fire cannot be contained by the firefighters. Okay, confirm, confirm firefighting team, supporting team that all crew is uh, complete. Sino fire and combat the fire? Yes, sir, copy. Pick a star, proceeding. All crew shall now proceed to perform their duties and responsibilities in the event of fire. The supporting team shutting off ventilations and electrical connections leading to the cargo holds. The firefighting team to lay out the fire hoses and the firefighters to start proceeding to the scene of fire. The engine room team now starts the emergency fire pump. The firefighting team leader now reported to the bridge that the firefighters are now ready and will now proceed to the scene of fire. The master, after his assessment of the scenario, gave instruction to the firefighting team to proceed and combat the fire. Fire can spread in six directions, while an attack is being made, and the fire adjacent compartment must be inspected. Where necessary, boundary starvation and boundary cooling must be practiced. The firefighters must identify first the seat of fire, the nozzle set to spray, and the other nozzle to water wall. Then team can now advance and fight the fire. Often, 
the direction of approach to a fire is determined by its location and the layout of the vessel. If there are alternative approaches that may be made, then the firefighter must be aware of the limitations of each. Out of the three fire approaches, which are approach from the same level, approach from above, and approach from below, the approach from the same level is the preferred route, as equipment is easier to handle, and access is usually the most convenient. Firefighters must also be familiar with the various water patterns, which may be delivered by adjustable nozzles. If the fire is beyond control, firefighters must give a signal to the team leader by pulling the lanyard attached to fireman's outfit and escape from the fire scene. All crew must then proceed back to their master station to confirm no one was left behind and start activating the fixed firefighting system such as CO2 and foam. If the fire, however, has been extinguished, firefighters must initiate to back out from the fire scene. After backing out, they shall then return to inspect the fire scene to make sure that there is no fire reignition and investigate the cause of fire and report to the bridge. After making sure that the fire has been totally extinguished and there is no fire reignition occurred, the firefighting team leader then reported to the bridge. The master then instructed all crew to remaster. Remastering is an essential safety measure to ensure that all crew are accounted for and that no crew was left behind or injured. Then after remastering, each team leaders reported the status of their teams to the master and that all crew are accounted for and no crew member is injured or missing. The master then on his satisfaction dismissed okay. the fire drill. Nobody left behind, no missing. Okay, dismiss from fire drill.